The truth is that wildlife volunteering can be expensive. A lot of wildlife charities rely on funds paid by volunteers who are eager to get into the conservation industry to support their projects. There are pros and cons to this model that I won't be getting into in this video, but what I will be doing is showing you how you can volunteer for wildlife for free from home anywhere in the world. If you're looking to build a career as a wildlife conservationist, field biologist, wildlife rehabilitator, or anything similar, then this is a video for you. Volunteering can give you experience that truly sets you apart from the crowd. It also helps show how passionate you are. So let's get straight into it. Here are 10 of the best places to volunteer for wildlife online. Number one is Zooniverse. So this website lists loads of scientific research projects that need your help, so if you're looking for a science career then this is a great place to start. You can volunteer on a range of different projects like this one where you help scientists identify kelp forests in the ocean using satellite images. Or this one where you hunt through camera images to find penguin eggs and that's to help scientists figure out whether climate change is affecting penguin reproduction rates. You don't need any experience or specialist knowledge to get started and all instructions are provided. Number two is ZSL Instant Wild. So the Zoological Society of London has set up cameras all over the globe watching animal behaviour, so they need your help to tag the animal species that you see. Don't worry if you don't know much about IDing different species because they have loads of interactive field guides that help you learn. This again is very beneficial volunteering for you if you are looking for a scientific career. Number three is possibly my favourite website for finding wildlife volunteering work and that is Giving Way. Here you can volunteer and you can filter by cause as well as by task and you can basically find something that you think you're going to be interested in. So this is really good if you're actually not looking to go into science but you love wildlife, you love the environment and you're more into going into something like wildlife filmmaking or journalism or marketing or anything like that so it's got loads of really different projects that you can get involved in and some of them are quite one-off so you'll definitely find something that you're into. Number four is pretty specific, it's the Togian Island Conservation Foundation so they work to protect the wildlife of the Togian Islands. They have a variety of positions available for online working but more specifically if there's a specific charity or animal, group of animals that you're interested in working with then it's definitely worth reaching out to those charities directly and just seeing and asking if they need anyone with your specific skill set or even just your drive to do any online volunteering. Number five is the Smithsonian Transcription Centre. You can help them out by transcribing images of field notes, specimen labels that are all handwritten into digital records. So if you're particularly good at reading crap handwriting then this one you, you probably need it here. So number six is Idealist which has literally thousands of online volunteering opportunities available for animals, environment, whatever, that kind of thing. Number seven is UN Volunteers. The United Nations lists a range of volunteering projects that you can do online from home. You can search by the number of hours you want to work each week, so that's a pretty cool feature. And each position falls within one of their sustainable goals, so you'd be helping to make a real difference. So number eight is Do It, which is another database of charities where you can volunteer online. Uh, a lot of these charities are based in the UK, but you can work online from anywhere in the world. So a particular feature that I really love about this database is that you can search by personal outcome. So say there's like a specific skill that you want to develop, um, let's just say leadership, then you can filter by leadership and you can find positions that, that match that, you can get those and then you can slap that on your CV as sort of evidence that you've been working towards getting that skill. So number nine is Seek Volunteer, which is a part of the Australian job website Seek and they list lots of different volunteering opportunities. If there's a particular country or like animal species that's found in one specific country that you're interested in working with in the future, then it's definitely worth looking for job sites based in that country so that you can see if they've got online volunteering positions, it can be a bit of a foot in the door for you. Finally, we're at number 10, and this is the RSPB, so the Royal, to Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. So they focus on protecting, you guessed it, birds. However, they do also focus on other aspects of British nature and wildlife, so they always have a lot of very interesting volunteering opportunities up on their website. So that's it, we've reached the end. If you're looking to take things a bit further, maybe you want to find a wildlife internship or your first wildlife job, then check out my previous video, Where to Find Wildlife Work. 
You can find a link in the description of the current video to my blog post 10 places for wildlife on online volunteering and you can go there and you can get links to all of the places I've talked about in this video as well as a bit more information for each one. If you found any of this video useful then make sure you like and subscribe for more wildlife content.